I'm Marcel Fontenot. Here's a look at headlines for this Tuesday, April 20th. Tonight, the search continues for the eight missing men who were on board the Secor Power lift boat in the Gulf of Mexico. Even though the U.S. Coast Guard stopped all operations in the search and rescue last night, 17 divers from Phoenix International of Maryland will continue the search for the entire ship. The United Cajun Navy is also lending their assistance in this search. Officials now say the next step is to open an investigation into what caused the vessel to capsize. Well, first of all, everybody in Louisiana has um, some kind of ties to the oil and gas industry. Whether and we all put fuel in our car, you know, we all have a family member, a relative, or a friend who works for an oil field company or a piping company, or even somebody in the seafood business, you know, industry. Um, and and these are our brothers, these are our neighbors, these are our friends. Meanwhile, 11 years ago today, the Deepwater Horizon exploded in the Gulf. 11 workers were killed, including a Eunice man. It started the largest marine oil spill in U.S. history. The explosion was the result of multiple mechanical and safety failures, chief among them a defective cement cap on the well and a defective blowout preventer. And Opelousa's deputy city marshal is facing charges tonight, accused, according to Opelousa's police, he's accused of stealing $1,200 from someone at the courthouse. Timothy Castile is accused of malfeasance in office, theft, and drug possession. Police say he took the money from the victim's wallet as that person was going through the metal detector in the building. In other news, summer right around the corner. And parents, if you're looking for something fun for your children, there's a free tennis camp. The camp is May 31st through June 3rd at Beaver Park. It's open to children ages 5 to 18. The park's tennis director says the camp will make the game more accessible to everyone. It's part of a larger plan to make tennis more accessible to the city of Lafayette. So this free summer camp is one part. We're looking at doing another free summer camp. But ultimately in the fall, what we want to have is we want to have tennis programming for the youth in Lafayette for free. Well, registration is now open, but hurry spots are limited. And just to let you know, COVID mandates will be in place. Well, turning now to weather, Rob, beautiful weather for tennis or anything outdoors at all at this point. That is correct. Other than it's going to be on the chilly side, cool front pushing on through temperatures by morning, dipping down into the upper 40s. Beautiful sunshine for Wednesday. It's going to be breezy and quite cool. Mid 60s, the high, which is some 15 degrees below normal or would be normal for late January or early February, but we do have warmer temperatures coming back, but also our next weather maker on the way tomorrow and Thursday. Beautiful days, lows in the 40s, though high 60s tomorrow, lower 70s Thursday showers on the increase Friday, and it looks like it could be a stormy Friday night, early Saturday with a potential severe weather threat. Sunshine, though, returning by Saturday afternoon and Sunday looking good. That's it for news and weather for now. Thank you so much for watching.